What's going on YouTube? This is Cass with Perfumes by Genesis, AKA PBG. Welcome to another one of my videos. For those of you who may know or may not know, I usually like to start off all of my videos with a quick and simple prayer. Feel free to skip ahead to the beginning of the video. I'll put a, a simple link in the description below. For those of you staying for the prayer, let's start. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for my viewers. Thank you for their lives. And I just pray, Lord, that you just cover us in these really uncertain times, um, cover our political situation, cover uh, this pandemic situation, Lord. And I just pray that you keep us safe and just help us grow closer to your love and to your light each and every day. Um, in Jesus' name, amen. Okay, hey guys, so I am back. It's so good to have you guys on my channel again. For those of you seeing me for the first time, welcome to the Perfumes by Genesis experience. Today, I'm going to be talking about a really wonderful fall classic. Both my wife and I both love this fragrance. It's an amazing classic from the 80s, okay? But before I get into that just yet, I just wanna say it's so good to uh, be here and uh, providing some nice content for you guys. So wonderful to have you guys back on my channel. And thank you to all the subscribers that have continued to come in even after I was taking a brief pause. Brief? Brief? Really? Social media from content making just to, you know, just work on some family things and some life things, which we all need to do sometimes. So for those of you who know me before, you may notice a bit of a change. Yes, I no longer have long hair. Hey, things change, people start over, people start things fresh. So yes, uh, you know, just so you're not surprised, it is me, this is Kaz, uh, my long name is Kazembe. It's me, just a shorter cut, so. But anyway, let's get into this video, and this is a surprise that I had waiting for you guys. Okay guys, so today's classic is gonna be none other than Calvin Klein Obsession for women. Now I know what you may be thinking, hey, is it, if this is marketed for women, like, why are you wearing it? But guys, this is a perfectly unisex fragrance. It smells amazing, it's soft, it's really warm. It's considered an oriental spicy fragrance. Let me show you guys the bottle. So here's the bottle for Calvin Klein Obsession for women. As you can see, just from this distance, it's a very deep, dark fragrance, guys. Look at that. Look at that. Hopefully the camera is focusing for you guys, auto-focusing. I really hope it is. Um, but yes, this is Calvin Klein Obsession for Women. It's an Eau de Parfum, and it's a beast mode fragrance, okay? There's a lot of wonderful notes. The perfumer behind this is John Guichard, and this fragrance came out in 1985, okay? So I highly recommend you guys check it out. Um, it's a simple bottle. Now, my wife has had this in her collection. This is actually her bottle. I don't have my own. Um, she's had this in her collection for quite some time. Um, it's a simple plastic cap, okay? And the bottle's all glass, it's clear, so like when it's empty, you can't really tell. Like the color, it's funny because the color of the juice is what they use for like the color of the cap. When it's like empty, it's just a clear bottle, so. But anyway, nice gold atomizer, all right? It's a really heavy fragrance. <laughs> um, not like cloying, but you definitely want to wear this in the fall and winter months, okay? And if you're having a cool spring, go ahead and try it out a couple times. But when you start to get into spring, highly recommend you guys go light on sprays. But like a time like now, you can go a little bit more liberal, but I recommend don't go more than five sprays in a session, okay? Because you might want to reapply if you're putting this on in the morning. By the time you get to the nighttime, you might want to do a little, um, you know, spritz up, that's okay. But in one session, don't do more than five sprays. And that's pretty liberal, so um, just use your judgment a little bit, okay? Let me show you guys how it comes out. I'm just gonna spray it once on my hand, all right? So here's my hand. We're gonna spray it just once so you guys can just kind of see the cloud. All right, so it's a nice, focused, even mist. Hopefully you guys can see that. So what does this smell like, all right? It's this really warm, spicy, creamy, warm, spicy, powdery, enveloping fragrance, okay? Those are the main things you're gonna get in, in um, right off the bat, warm, spicy, and powdery, okay? And it dries down into this nice, creamy, woody nature. And there's some, there's some heaviness in there. This is a dense fragrance, but it's not like cloying dense. It's beautiful, beautiful fragrance. I highly recommend it. Um, guys, you can definitely wear this too because the way it was blended, even though it's sweet, it 
has a lot of notes that kind of juxtapose to um, the super sweet notes and it gives it some depth, some darkness to it, right? So what do I mean by the depth and darkness in this fragrance? Let me uh, kick out some of the notes and that'll kind of, you know, give a well-rounded vibe to this wonderful fragrance, guys. It's just, it's absolutely amazing. So this is a classic, it's a banger from the 80s. Highly recommend it, it's not expensive, but let's check out these notes. All right, so we're gonna get into the notes, but before that, I wanna get into my nose notes. And for those of you who are new, I, I do this thing where I write my notes, my initial impressions when I spray and sit down and kind of study it. Um, it might not be the first time I'm smelling the fragrance, but I like to write like this the first time I'm sitting down to study it, right? And I actually pay attention to you know the olfactive mental process when smelling the fragrance and writing down what comes to mind. And this is without looking at the notes because you don't want to get yourself biased. Anyway, let's get into this, guys. So, right off the bat, what did I write? It opens up very dense, like I told you guys, and sweet with some sandalwood present. Now, remember I said this is some creaminess. I first get some powdery, um, some like a powdery nature first, and then the sandalwood kind of brings it on this creamy journey throughout the life of the fragrance. It's really nice. Um, it has a very powdery nature to it. It's actually powdery and creamy. Like I said, the fragrance settles sh uh, shortly after the first spray. Um, at the time, I sprayed it at 4.50 p.m. Okay, this is a very well blended fragrance. I understand that there is some civet in this as well. Okay, which I detect. So, civet is a type of cat. All right, it's, it's one of those animal products and it's uh, on the stinkier side of uh, fragrance ingredients. Okay, civet has a really deep, um, stinky smell. Now, the funny thing is I have not smelled it on its own. I do plan to because uh, for those of you who don't know, I am also a perfumer in training. I'm going on the self-discovery or self-training journey, okay? Learning from a lot of people in industry, independent perfumers. And uh, civet is a byproduct. I believe it comes from the droppings, okay? Um, don't quote me 100% on that, but yes, if it is not a nice smelling thing based on what a lot of perfumers uh, that I'm connected to tell me, okay? But the civet is there to give it like a dark grounding, all right? It's not there to make the fragrance smell stinky at all. That's not the purpose of civet in this fragrance to my nose, all right? So that's civet, all right? There's some, a little bit of civet in there, and I always thought that there was this very slight dirtiness to it, okay? That is what the Civic kind of does. Look, when you want to bring a fragrance down from being too sweet, you want to make it a little bit more dense and give it some depth, some body, then you can put a little bit of Civic in there. You gotta be careful, but anyway. So, slight dirtiness to it, though it's well balanced. It gets sweeter as it dries down to a more of a sweet, less dense scent, okay? So I know I said sweet and less dense a lot, okay? But we're just talking about the heaviness and the texture of the fragrance, okay? So the spiciness is gonna start to wear away, okay? That's only for the initial opening to give you kind of a wake up. And then it's just this, you know, soft powdery scent. It's, it's just amazing. It's like fall is hugging you, okay? And just a pillow of sugar. I don't know how else to put it. All right, and this beautiful amber, the amber shines really nice in this fragrance, I would like to say. The final settle down, guys, it finally settles to a more powdery, musky sweetness, okay? So this is what the fragrance does. It opens a little spicy, okay, very dense, and it, you'll, you'll have that sandalwood effect very present, okay? It's a powdery, creamy, sweet opening right after the spices kind of, the spices, and I think there's a little bit of citrus in there too. Right after they wear off, then you'll get all that good stuff coming in. What are the notes? What are the notes? I don't know. You tell me. So. Here are the notes, guys. In the top, we're gonna have some green notes, mandarin orange, vanilla, peach, basil, bergamot, and lemon. In the heart, we're gonna have some spices, coriander, sandalwood, orange blossom, jasmine, oak moss, cedar, and rose. Funny thing that there's rose in here, right? Like, it's just, this fragrance is beautiful. Very beautiful fragrance, guys. Lastly, in the base, we're gonna have some amber, musk, civet, vanilla, vetiver, and incense. Yes, the incense just rounds nicely with this, the uh, 
the amber with the musk and it gives you this powdery, creamy, smoky nature at the bottom. That's, that's what adds. It's just like a mysterious fragrance, guys. It's very wonderful. So again, 1995, perfumer behind it is John Bouchard. So, got the bottle with me again, and um, let's talk about a little bit about the performance, and then we'll get to a special surprise, um, something new I've started to do. So, this fragrance lasts, it will last all day with confidence, okay? It definitely will last all day with confidence, and the fun thing about it is, when it starts to get late, like let's say you're going to a nine to five, okay, that's eight hours, it'll last all throughout the day. Um, it'll be really, I don't wanna say beast mode, but it'll be very present, very prevalent in the beginning, okay, within the first, I wanna say few hours. Um, then, as, as you get to the midway point, it'll get a little closer, but it'll be so present. What I like about this is the sillage is very nice, okay? My, when my wife wears this, and you know we're going out i get this nice central behind her especially when it's when it gets cooler and the the air starts to get a little bit more dense and then the wind starts to carry the fragrance a little bit more um it's wonderful so people will smell you um, leaving a nice trail of this behind and um, women will definitely love this fragrance it's marketed towards women and guys if you want to wear this fragrance you're going to enjoy it too you're not going to feel too feminine and you know, if you're married, you have a significant other, I think she will enjoy this on you as well. And she'll probably want to wear it too. So it's kind of fun for you and your partner to both be wearing a fragrance at the same time. That's a really nice scent bubble around you guys both. So this is Calvin Klein, Obsession for Women. Okay guys, so are you guys ready for my new service? It's nothing crazy, but it's something fun that I started to do so that I can connect a little bit better and give you guys more insight into PBG's collection. Drum roll, please. Whoops. Anyway, guys, I will be offering decants of my own private collection. Yes, that is correct, decants. A very simple thing. I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar with decants. I have started selling my own decants now. I'm not getting these bottles from like a brand. I'm not being, you know, sponsored or anything like that. I just figured, why not I just offer people the ability to buy some samples of the fragrances I've already, already reviewed or fragrances that I'm going to be reviewing in the future. All the proceeds really from these decants is just gonna go back into the channel. Um, it'll go towards more bottles and possibly subscriptions for editing software just to make the content to the best quality I can possible. And I'm doing it very competitively, okay? It's trying to give you guys the best prices on them. But what I want to say is that I do have them on eBay and for now on Etsy. I'm um, trying to play around with my own Shopify site where I'll probably offer things other than decants in the future. Stay tuned for that. But for now, I just want you guys to know that yes, decants are available. And um, if you happen to have me on Instagram, which is uh, Perfumes by Genesis, at Perfumes by Genesis, you can feel free to DM me um, if you're interested in CD Cans. I'm more than happy to work with you to get them out that way. Um, I'll put my eBay information below, I'll put my Etsy information below. But it's just a fun little thing that I figured, hey, let me do this and then let me offer uh, this to people. So just wanted to share that with you guys. And there'll be more um, content than just decants on that scene. All right, guys, so that is my video of Obsession, Calvin Klein Obsession for women, technically, but it's a perfectly unisex fragrance in my opinion. Um, I really do hope you guys enjoy. It's so wonderful and refreshing to be back, and I look forward to seeing you guys again. So, as always, take care and have a wonderful, blessed day.